Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 17 SEP. Kind of a busy overnight after the FOMC. Boy, Powell looked like he was defending his thesis, uh, but hadn't really prepared. Maybe he was bad night's sleep last night, or I don't know. Maybe the medication that he's on needs to be changed. I, I just don't know what was going on with that yesterday. That was a terrible, that was a disaster. And uh, the other weird thing about yesterday was the reporters, like, instead of sort of, you know, sucking uh, FOMC dick, which, you know, kissing ass, which they normally do, and, oh, I'll take a question from Nick Leeson. Oh, Chairman Powell. You're so beautiful and strong and amazing. It wasn't like that yesterday. It was like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? This shit's uh, upside down. Um, very weird. Very, very weird. Um, we talked about the result of yesterday is going to set the tone for the rest of the month. It's basically looks like this is what's happening here. So let's go to Euro. Uh, already through 50. But now bounced up to 63. Um, 117.08 is kind of the money. It's really the big money, quarterly money shot here. Um be plenty of momentum guys who sold through 55 we're gonna have 85 stops now so watch for a move back up to 85 I do like core short um, this thing has been mysteriously offered uh, ever since the mysterious offers at 119 the other day uh, then she looks like she wants to continue and that's the painful side so let's keep an eye out on that. Dollar Swiss, 92 cents is super important. Far away. And Dollar Swiss is obviously, uh, you know, like playing Russian roulette. Zzz, no idea um, how the price action is going to go. Just kind of hope for the best. But above 92 uh, is interesting in dollar Swiss. Dollar yen, we like it lower still. This is sort of your death knocky thing up here at uh, 15. Um, but if um, if the dollar gets smoked, I mean, if euro gets smoked, dollar dollar yen might squeeze higher. Talked about the turn bar yesterday in dollars are it's this hourly bar here. Bang. 21 given. Whoops. 35 paid. That's a 1% bullish engulfer. What do you think happened overnight in dollars are? What the fuck, right? Look at that. 35. 22 given. Dollars are no one even knows what no one even knows where South Africa is in the Asian, Asian session. The spreads are hysterical. Nobody trades it. There's absolutely no volume. What does that tell you? This is just guys who were long at the end of the day yesterday um, who got stopped. I mean, that's all that is right there. It's just criminal. Uh, it's so FX. It's so incredibly FX-like. <clears throat> anyway, back through 35, which is not going to be support for the rest of the day. Uh, here we are, 40 paid. We're calling. We're calling the turn. I think there's a rap song from 1992 or 94. Snap back to reality. No, I think that was Eminem. I don't know. We're snapping back to reality. Um, 
dollars are is going to charge higher. I think we all remember that GDP was down a mere 50 percent. Uh, and then we had this nonsense here, up, down, up, down, up, down. The trend followers are all short through 55. They also sold through 30. So what's their average? 37. Feeling the pain here at 39. Um, they'll start choking the chicken through 50. And then there'll be the final sort of... Uh, final death march back through 55 so you want to try and accumulate some dollars are here uh, make a long story short dollar max same shit um, trying to accumulate this stuff this is the yearly low you can never say that in FX you can never ever fucking say that we just said it not going to see 2093 uh, for the rest of this year. Never, ever do that in FX. You can never say never. Fuck, we just did that. Professionals are going to wait for 17 to get long dollar max. Um, but dollar max and dollars are look like they've turned. Aussie, as you can imagine. Also a little bit of a left-hand side action. Euro Aussie less so because of the Euro dollar price action. But once Euro dollar stabilizes, Aussie's the one that's gonna get kicked. Euro Aussie's gonna go higher eventually. Aussie and lower. We're short Kiwi and we like Kiwi and lower. Dollar cat's higher as you can imagine in this in all of this nonsense. This is an important point up here. On thirty-two sixty. Obvious um, sort of inverted head and shoulders here that a lot of people are gonna be looking at and drawing and, and whatever. So you can see what we're do what we're, how we're sort of framing this, right? You can either be long dollars are long dollar max, you can buy Dollar CAD through 60. Hopefully, you're short some euro, which looks like it's going to be choppy, but 117.08 is like the money shot, as they say in the adult industry. Um, and then, of course, gold 19. No, 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 19. 10 is the pain. So, how is gold collapse when the whole world uh, and monetary policy is falling apart? doesn't really make a lot of sense but it's just a crowded trade and if equities turn which looks like they kind of have right um, did not bearish engulf yesterday but had a bearish close uh, back up to 87 but here we are down at 34 um, there will be a cascade of stops through 98 and so you can see we're we're approaching one of these sort of crossroad moments where you have like a just a cacophony of levels on all of the charts and it's all the same trade. Thirty two ninety eight S and P's nineteen ten in gold, one seventeen oh eight in Euro, one thirty two sixty in dollar CAD. I don't know. It's not super clear in EM. EM, just close your eyes and get long. There's no clear point here. <laughs> the clear point in um, dollars are 17 double O, so that's 60 handles away. Uh, but during these kind of um, situations, 60 handles in dollars are goes pretty fucking quickly. All you need is some bad news in czar and euro lower and stocks lower 60 handles is too sweet and dollar max again not super clear there's no like clear bingo number here but we're just waiting to see if we can 
make a higher daily high um, and if these 92 lows will hold a lot to think about it's Thursday tomorrow is probably the day where all of this fucking shit happens and the equity market gets its ass kicked um, I hate to be poly pessimist but you know I don't I don't really care which way it goes just excited to see these sort of culmination of chart points so um, put your big boy boots on and uh, let's get ready to take some risk next two days good luck out there people ciao